We just hit the ATS on a random shooter. Oh my gosh, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to Martin Point. This strategy was submitted by one of my subscribers, but he watched another video and he said, you know what, I want to try to make this a little bit different than that one. And so he wanted to show this how it works. So here's what's going to happen. He's going to go out there to start off. He's going to go 424 on the ATS. So the ATS here is going to go 4, 2, and 4. So which means that's a mark them small, mark them tall, then mark them all. Okay. This is the bonus bet. Um, and also, if your casino requires, he actually said it as well. We're going to start off with a $15 pass line. So this is $10. He said he wanted to be a little bit higher on the pass line. That way you met you net a little bit of money. If it does reset it here at the very beginning, which actually I thought was a, a very clever idea of getting a little bit of juice out of that pass line in case it resets up top, going a little bit higher. Now, what's going to happen is we get a point established. Let's just say it's on the nine. OK, what we're going to do is we're going to go out there for thirty dollars on the five. We're going to go out there for thirty six dollars on the six and eight. OK, so it's going to look thirty six on the six and eight, uh, thirty dollars on the five. And if the point wasn't on the nine. He would also put $30 on the nine, and we're going to go $30 in odds behind, okay? So here's what's going to happen. Either one of these hits, the five, the six, or the eight, any of these three, that's going to pay us 42 okay? So here it is, $42. And he says he wants to cover the four and 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that green back. I'm going to give it in reds. That's $25 in reds. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pay $20. On the four and ten, that's going to be a buy bet. We're going to buy that bet, and that costs you a two dollar vig. Let's go ahead and pull that here. That'll be your vig for the four and ten. And now the next hit, any of these bets, it doesn't matter what it hits. We press a point or another roll. Your next bet, you're going to regress it down. So let's just say it's on the six. Again, that's going to pay us forty two. That's a thirty six dollar bet. It pays us forty two. Now we're going to regress all these bets down. So this the four and ten is going to come down to ten dollars each. We'll actually give you your vig back in that case. Okay, now your five is going to go down to fifteen dollars, and your six and eight are going to go down to eighteen dollars. Okay, so here let's go and show you what that's going to look like. A little bit of a, a little bit of hand you know hand change here from the dealers. Uh, what you're going to have here, but when it's all said and done, you'll have ten dollars on the four and ten. You'll have fifteen on the five or nine or whatever. The point is, and then 18 on the 6 and 8, okay? So then, now we're also going to pull this back down to single odds. So this is going to come back. we got $15 here. That is going to be a regression. I only have a 25. Let's just, let's just pull the 25 back. I'll give you 25 and change, and we'll put single odds back. This is a full regression, and you're out of the hand. This is your initial investment, which is $132 plus a little bit of the odds, but that is everything back into your rack. Now, let's move this over to the side because what he's going to do is whenever we do get to that second hit where you have the regression pattern, we're going to do a moderate press. So if the five, six, or eight hits, basically each of these is going to pay us $21. We're going to press it up by 10. Okay, That makes it a $25 bet, and we're going to rack the rest. Uh, the six, the same thing. If it's a bet here, it pays us $21. Now, in this case, you probably just drop a dollar to the dealer, and it presses it all the way up to a $30 bet. And you'll write the $10 just like that. We're going to do a two-unit press each time. Each time we play this out. Now, if the 4 and 10 hit, that's going to pay us $18. Okay, it'll pay us 18 And what he said was he wants you to press it up each by 5. And you're going to put the rest of this back to the rack. And then the next one will go to 20 Of course, you'd have to buy that next bet. All right, guys. We're going to roll this out and see how we do. Thank you, for uh, Michael, for submitting the strategy. And uh, we're going to see if we can make some money. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started here. So, again, we are going to start off with a $1,000 bankroll. A $1,000 bankroll should be plenty enough for this system. And let's go ahead and drop down $10 for the ATS. Again, that's going to be 424, okay? And uh, he did say you can play this without the ATS or without the pass line and the $50, $15 for the pass line. But I am going to go ahead and show it uh, because, you know, most people, most people that I know do play the ATS. And uh, there's a lot of people I personally don't. But there are people who play the pass line, so I'm going to go ahead and play it out there. And uh, let's go ahead and get the first shooter here. Let's drop the bull. Let's grab these two here. Put all those back. And uh, let's get started here with a point. Let's go, shooter. 
All right, it's going to be the 314 as Big Joe from Craps Master Journey. Let's go ahead and mark the four down here. And uh, let's drop down. Um, it's going to be $30 on the five and nine. It'll be $36 on the six and eight. So everything's going to have a green chip. Everything's going to have a red chip. And of course, you'll have the two white chips for the top on the six and eight, which is your caps there. So $36 and then $30 here. Everything's here is going to pay you. $42 on the inside, all right? And uh, let's go ahead and mark the four down here. And let's go, shooter. Let's get it going. And that's going to be the 538. That's going to be the easy eight, okay? That's going to pay us $42. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it this way first, 42. Now, I know I'm going to have to have red chips for this, so I'm going to go and pull it back and pay it 25, okay? Now I'm going to have 20. And you know what? That four is covered here. I should have went and put odds down there. Let's go ahead and do that now. I should have done it a second ago. But that's going to be odds, $30 in odds there. And um, let's go ahead and put that $20 back into the rack. And this will be your bet for that. If you're a VIG, let's go ahead and put that back into your rack. All right, and we're ready to roll. Here we go. Looking for one more hit. And that's going to be the five. That's going to be the three, two, five. That's also going to pay us $42. So let's go ahead and pay that out, $42. And then we're going to regress everything back down of the four and 10. Remember, that's going to go to a $10 bet. We're going to give your VIG back because that pulls it down. And then their nine and five are going to go to a $15 bet. So you're basically bringing all the, the green chips back to your rack when you're actually doing this. It's kind of a cool how it works out. Um, then this is going to go to a uh, $18 bet. All right, let's go and pull these back. And uh, let's show here. Here. Let's go and just drop down the three red chips or the eight. And these are your two caps for it. All right, here we go. So this is all coming back to your rack. We are going to also regress this down to a single odds bet, okay? Once you regress, you're also going to regress this down to a single odds bet, so that'll only be $15 there. And um, boom, guys, we are ready to roll. And let's go ahead and mark the five. A lot of movement. That is, I would say, make sure you tip your dealers. This is a lot of movement for uh, that regression. And that's going to be an uh, easy eight, guys. That's going to be back-to-back, -back. another eight, six to eight. Now, that's going to pay us $21. I'm going to grab some reds. That pays $21. And so what we're going to do is a two-unit press. It's going to drop down to dealer a dollar and say two-unit press, please. That's going to make it to a $30 bet. It's going to rack that 10, and now this is going to look like $30. And uh, let's go and show it just like that. Color it up as we go. All right, let's go, shooter. Well, that was an eight. We already marked the eight. All right, that's going to be Big Joe. That is going to be our point winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, here we go. So what's going to happen is that'll pay us even odds on the pass line, okay? And then in the back here, it's going to pay us two to – Two to one, so that'll be two to one, just like this right here. And now all this is going to come back to your rack. A nice win at the very beginning. You love it when it comes out with wins. I love it. I love it. Let's go and turn the puck off. We're ready to roll, and let's get another point. And that's going to be on the nine. That's going to be the center field nine, the five four nine. Let's mark the nine as the first next point. And here we go. So that's going to go ahead and move. Um, let's go ahead and move the nine over here. Go and drop down uh, $15 in odds uh, because we've already regressed. So let's go and keep it at $15 here, which is single line odds. Let's go ahead and mark the nine here. And let's go, shooter. Let's do this thing. There's a 10 down there on the end. That's Big Ben. Big Ben, Waylon's best friend. That's going to pay us $18. Okay. What's going to happen on $18? We're going to press the four and the 10 together. Okay. Four and the 10 together. You do not buy bets yet. It should still only be uh, 15 each. So let's go and pull these back. And here we go. And mark the 10 down there on the end. Let's go. And there's the 437. That is a seven out 437. Uh, that's okay. You know what? We did get to regress. We got a little bit back, but not, not enough to really help us out much. I'm going to pull everything here back. So here we go. But yeah, we know what? You have to forgot. We actually hit the point. So that did help us out a little bit. I forgot we hit the point and got a good hit. So let's cool all this. And uh, let's turn the puck off. And let's go ahead and reset the ATS. And drop down another $10. Let's go, you know, let's just drop down a quarter. We know the quarter will, will cover us for the pass line for 15 and it'll pay us for uh, $10 for the 424. Four. Okay, let's go and do that like that. 424. Four. And we are ready to roll. Let's get another point. Let's go and go and drop down to the dealer here or the Tice. Uh, let's go and grab these here. All right, let's go, shooter. And that's going to be a 538. That's going to be the easy eight. Let's mark the point on the eight. And uh, let's go ahead and drop down to the dealer. Let's go green, green, and green. Uh, we're going $30 in odds in the back. Okay, that's two times odds to start off with. 
And uh, let's go ahead and grab the red, red. And of course, just so here, have a cap on the six. Okay, so $30 on the five and nine. That's 36 on the six. And uh, not go to the four and 10 until you get the next hit. Look for one more hit. That is an eight. Let's go ahead and mark the eight. And there's a seven out. That's going to be the six, one, seven. Oh my gosh. What a PSO, you piece of junk. That's okay. You know what? That happens. That is craps, guys. That is craps where you do get these and uh, you do get the point seven out where you lose all this in a flash. So what we're going to do is I'm going to leave these up here. They're going to say, do you want to go back up? We're going to say, yeah, let's go back up. We're going to drop down to $25. And so this is reset. I'm going to put $15 back on the pass line. Now, this is self-service. This is your bet. You're putting that down there. But uh, just for easier uh, easier video purposes, I'm just going to set it just like that. All right, let's go ahead, shooter. we got a new shooter coming out. Let's dump the bowl. And uh, let's grab these two dice here. Move it back. i got a new bowl. How do you like my bowl, guys? All right, here we go. Let's go, shooter. And that's going to be, you know what, that is a come out winner. That's going to be the 617. So what's going to happen is we will lose this. That's $10. But we'll win 15 here. That's even odds. So basically, that's a net of $5. I'm going to take this $10 back. That $5 is going to go right back to your rack just like that. That's why he likes to do that. That way you get a little bit of juice out of that pass line in case you have a, uh, a come out seven, okay? All right, that's going to be a back-to-back. -back. We did it again, guys. Absolutely did it again. We're going to reset reset the ATS, which hasn't had any hits anyways. It's a net of $5. I'm going to take that and put it right there into the rack just like that. All right, let's go, shooter. Three of them in a row. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. You know what? That's okay. We are making some money. Uh, not a whole lot, but we're making $5 at a time. We'll take that. Again, you lose this. That's $10. You win $15. That's a net of 5 uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and let's go and grab two more dice here. Let's grab two more dice and see if that makes a difference. Let's go. It's a six. Okay, we got an easy six this time. That's going to be the four, two, six. Let's mark the six. And uh, let's go ahead here. Let's go ahead and go out for $30 in odds. Okay, again, that's self-service. That is something that you will put out there. Let's drop down the greens here. That's going to be 25, 25, and 25. Let's drop down the reds. Red, red, and red. Then $1 for the all right, let's mark the six, and uh, let's go, shooter. Let's make some happen here. There's a Yo 11 Midmo Chiro, no help to me. It's a Yo. And there's Boxcars 12. Uh, again, no help, but great. that's great on the ATS. Come on, looking for an inside hit, inside hit. There's back-to-back -back Boxcars. How about that? Midnight, all the dots in all the spots. And that is the spots that you don't want, guys. That is two knuckle punches in a row. Good gracious, that's never good, guys. That is not what we're looking for. Absolutely not. That is a bone crusher right there. Oh, gosh. Got to hate that. That's two of them. Let's pull all this back. And, again, we're going to reset this here again. Let's pull these back. Let's pull these back. I'm going to drop down another $25. Again, Marie's, I'm doing that. $10 here. I'm going to go ahead and put the pass line down just like that. Let's do it again, guys. I'm ugh. You got to hate it when that happens, right? I was going to turn the puck off, get a new shooter, get a new shooter coming out here. Go and grab these here. Let's see if we can get some good luck here. Let's go. And that's the aces. And that's no luck at all, right? No luck at all. Because what's going to happen is we're actually going to lose our pass line. Remember, on a two or three or 12, you're going to lose the pass line. Let's go and pull that back. Drop down another $15 to reset it. And uh, here we go. Let's do it again. Let's come on, shooter. And there's a five, all right? That's going to be the no field five. That's going to be the three, two, five. Let's mark the point on the five. And uh, drop down the greens again, right? Let's go ahead and put the five. Let's go ahead and put the six, eight, and nine this time. Six, eight, and nine. You can have two whites here. That's $36 on the six and eight, $30 on the nine. And um, we're just going to drop down $30 in odds. We've only gotten one regression this entire time. One regression, guys. Craps is so hard. Okay. It's, if you win or if you break even, you have done something because craps is really, really, really hard. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this shows you guys. This right here shows you how brutal craps can be. Because what do we have here? We have the third time in a row we've had a number and not had a collect. Um, now he did say, guys, he said in his in his style strategy, if you have a couple rolls and don't get an inside hit. He's going to go to the Molly, the three point Molly. Now, I am personally not going to go to the Molly. However, he does say go do that. Um, but I guess that's more of a choppy table style. 
Um, I'm personally not going to show that in this video. Wow. Gotta love that. Okay, let's pull these back. That was a little too high for me. I'm not going to go to the three-point molly just because I'm going to keep it at his regular system. Uh, but you do have that option if you want to change your style of play in you know mid-roll or whatever you want to do. You can always have that option to do that. Okay, let's turn the puck off again. Let's go ahead and unmark these. Let's go ahead and drop the bowl again. Let's go ahead and pick up two good ones this time. Let's grab this hard 10 and put that back into the rack. It's going to drop down $25. Here we go. That's going to reset our ETS. That's going to put down $15 for our pass line. Okay. And uh, come on, shooter. Let's do something good this time. Do something good. Okay. There is the 10. That's going to be the 6 4 10 down there on the end. Let's mark the 10. All right. Here we go. So we're going to put down, you know, we got to drop down the, the black chips this time. Okay. So what's going to happen is drop down the black chips. It's going to go um, on the inside, just like that. And let's pull the black chip back. Put down our red chips. One, two, three, four. And our two greens for this. And then we also need to make sure we put our odds down for our 10, which is two times odds at $30. And um, I think we got this going. Now, if you are playing at Vegas, um, if you want to go higher in odds, if you want to, at your local casino that you play at, you're more than welcome to. But he does say just go two times odds at $30. Uh, nothing more than that. That way you have a regression there. All right, guys, let's go. Let's see if we can bolt this out. That's mark that 10. And here we go. All right, that's going to be the center field nine. That's going to be the six, three, nine. That's going to pay us our next payment, which is great. We haven't had one of those in a while. Uh, it's going to pay us 42. Um, in this case, what I'm going to do is, because I have my 10 covered here, I'm just going to drop this over here, right? Drop down $5 to the dealer. And uh, we can rack the quarter, because remember, he usually spreads to the four and the 10. The 10's already covered. We're going to buy this bet and put that back back. Uh, let's go ahead and drop here. That is the nine. And uh, let's go, shooter. And there's the aces. That's the dots in both places. Snake eyes. Then mark the two. Come on, shooter. There's another eight. How about that? That's going to oh, that's an eight. That is an eight, not another eight. That's going to pay us 42, but that's right. That's our second payment, which is great. So now we're going to regress everything back down, okay? Remember, the nine is going to go to 15. Okay, the five is going to go to 15. So pull both of these greens back. And that's going to go to 15. The four is going to go to 10. The six and eight are going to go to 18 each. Okay, so that's here. So that's good for that one. And let's go ahead and grab three greens here and two whites. Help out the dealer a little bit if you do this for them. And then we're going to regress this down to 15 each. Okay, so pull this back. So all this is coming back to our rack. And uh, we actually need to go ahead and grab some reds. Let's go ahead and do that now. That's one, two, three. Give these $2 back to you. And we are ready to roll. What was that? That was an eight. We've already got, there we go, mark the eight. And let's go. I think we got everything covered, right? Here we go. And there's a five that's going to be a three, two, five. All right, we finally got a half a shooter here. That's going to pay us $21. Now, he does go up by $10, remember? Goes up by 10. It pulls the rest of this back into his rack. Just like that. All right, here we go. And there's a one, two, three. Oh, let's mark the five. There's a one, two, three, craps three. No help to me. Let's go ahead and mark my three. Come on, shooter. That is, uh oh, dice off the table. Now that does go ahead and color up our green. We can do that. That's a $25 bet. We're going to make it look like a green chip. There we go. And there's a six, five, one, six. All right, here we go. That's going to pay us $21. And so what we're going to do here, we can go just go and make it look like 30. I'm going to pull this bet here back and go ahead and make this look like 30 here now. Just like that. All right, here we go. And the reason why I pulled that bet back is it pays you 21. You need to drop the extra dollar. So I just pulled it back here. So it's it's basically dropping the dollar for the three dollar bet. All right, there's an eight. That's gonna be the five three this time. That's gonna be the five three. It's called twenty one dollars. We're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna pull this dollar here back. Now we know it's a thirty dollar bet on the press. I'm gonna pull this back here. Just like that. All right, here we go. We got two of them up. Mark the eight. Mark the six. All right, I think we're good now. There's a nine. That's going to be the center field nine. All right. We finally got something going here. Uh, that's going to pay us $21 and press it up by two. Take this back to the rack. Now, we have a lot of ground to make up. Remember, we have a lot of ground to make up so far. Uh, that is now our green chip. And uh, there we go. Let's go, guys. And that is going to be a $549. That is not a buy bet. That's only a $10 bet, so it should be up.
That's going to be a 549. That's going to pay us $35 this time. What we're going to do, we're going to make it uh, make it 35 Put the quarter back into your rack, just like that. And uh, let's keep it going. Come on, shooter. There's a four. You know what? We have hit the small. Check us out, guys. That's Big Joe from Craft Master Journey. We have hit the small. That is great. We needed that. So that's a four. That's going to pay us $18. Let's go ahead and put it at 18 here. Uh, we are going to press it up. He said press up both. Uh, so what we can do here is um, I'm going to put it here. You know what? Do I want to press the odds? You can do that. If you want to, you can make it as long as your casino lets you go more than two times odds. You can increase your odds in the back. It's going to take this back to the rack just like this. Uh, now, that is a $15 bet. We're good. So we don't need a big yet. But we've hit our small, so we need to pay out our small. Okay. So now you have it is a 30 to 1. So in this case, it's going to pay us $120. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to pay it in black. So 120 for our small. And how about that, guys? We've hit the small. And uh, let's take these all the way back to the rack. That was a huge, huge hit right there, okay? All right, here we go. So we're ready to roll. And uh, we can reset these, right? So basically, if you want to press these, you can. Some casinos let you press the small if they've all been marked. All right, and here we go. All right, it's going to be the six. That's going to be the four, two, six. All right, here we go. That's going to pay us $35. Now, we're going to press it up by two units. And when you do that, you need to drop down $2 to the dealer. They'll say, drop me $2. That'll make it a $42 bet. We're going to put the quarter back into the rack just like that. Now we're going to turn the six upside down so we know that's a six. It's already been hit. And let's see if we can do them again. Hit that small again, right? There's a five. All right, let's walk it down. That's going to be the, the no field five. It's going to pay us $35. Grab a couple of reds. Pays us $35. dollars going to turn that upside down. Drop down to $10 here to make it $35 and take that quarter back to the rack just like that. All right, shooter, let's go, man. Let's make some money here. And there's a three, one, two, three, craps three, no help to me. Let's turn to three. Look at that, guys. Only waiting on a few more here. Let's do it. There's an eight, easy eight. Okay, five, three. Uh, that is a $30 bet. That's also going to pay us $35. Let's drop down $10. $10. Let's drop down $2 to make it a $42 bet. Take the quarter back to the rack. Eight's already marked, so we're ready to roll. Let's keep it going. There's a 10. That is our point, guys. That, oh, how about this? That is our point. That's great. Go ahead and mark the 10 here. It's already there. All right, so that's going to pay us. Here, let's go ahead and grab some reds. All right, so that's going to pay us 15. Uh, it's going to pay us 15 even odd for the, for the pass line. And it's going to pay us double odds on the back here there. So all this is coming back. So look at there. Remember, we got sniped, what, three times? So now we're finally making a little bit of money back. Getting the small really helped. But hitting these points, that's definitely going to help us out, right? So all this is coming back. The puck is off. Uh, the 10 is marked. Everything is good. We got some nice press bets here, guys. I love it when you see that. Now you can start grinding and making some money out of it. All right, it's going to be on the 8. That's going to be the 628. Let's mark the 8. That's the point. And uh, here we go. And there's a Yo 11 mid Mochiro. Look at here, guys. We are a 12 away from hitting the ATS. Look at here. Let's see if we can hit this thing. If we hit this thing, I'm probably going to be happy. Let me say that. I'm <laughs> I read that. We just hit the ATS on a random shooter. Oh, my gosh, guys. You talk about a payout. Now, I got to figure this out, how I paid this out. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we've hit the ATS. Wow. How about this? How about this, Michael? Oh, my gosh. You submitted a strategy. I think this is probably the first time I've ever hit the ATS on a random roll rollout. I think this is the first. Okay. So that's going to pay us uh, $120. So one, one twenty. Okay. One twenty for the tall. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that in here. That's our rack. And then you got to pay the all. Okay. When you pay the all, that's 150 to one. I've got $2 here. That's going to pay us $3 guys. We have hit the ATS on a random shooter. Just throwing against my practice rig here. And how about that? That is chunk change coming back to the rack. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So now we are ready to flip these things upside down. We're right and ready to hit the two and the four here. Oh, my gosh. This video is going much longer than I expected. Um, and you know what? I never uh, put my odds down for eight back here. I, I got so sidetracked. I should have done this, by the way, a long time ago. I'm going to put $30 here. I'm going to take this back to the rack. I, I totally missed that while ago, by the way. All right, here we go. Now we are ready to roll. Let's turn them things upside down. 
You know what? There is a hard six. That's going to be the uh, the hard six dice degen hard six. That's a forty two dollar bet, guys. That's going to pay us forty nine dollars. We're going to do it fifty for one. Now he typically says let's let's two press two unit press it, but in this case, I'm just going to take that fifty dollars and go back to the rack just like that, and uh, let's live another day. Here we go. There's a ten down there on the end. You know what? Ah, talking about missing my spot. I should have put that bet there. So here's what happened. I'm, the point was on the 10. I hit it. The point became the 8, and I never dropped my bet down. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this as real as I can do it. Um, I am going to not post bet it. I don't want to do that, but I am just going to drop down $15 for the 10, where I probably should have bet it before, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to put it at 15. I'm not going to pay myself, and uh, let's keep it going. Here we go. Oh, let's go ahead and mark the 10 upside down. Turn that one upside down. Here we go. There's another six. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and keep pressing this thing. Remember, that's going to pay us $49 or 50 for one. Uh, what we can do and do here is we can actually go ahead and take this up to a $60 bet. Let's take this to a $60 bet, just like this. We'll take the rest of this back to the rack. It's a little bit more than two unit press, but uh, let's go ahead and get some juice out of it, right? And, uh, and here we go. Let's go, shooter. There's a five, the 415. We got a hot shooter. Hot shooter, that's also going to pay us 50 for one. I tell you what, let's keep pressing this thing. Let's go up to a $50 bet and take the rest of it back to the rack. It's going to cost you a dollar for the 50 for one. And uh, and here we go. Let's keep it going. There's a Yo 11 mid Mochiro. Let's turn that guy upside down. Come on, shooter. Stay hot. How about this, guys? Boxcars 12. We are turning these things around. Who says that a random shooter can't roll, right? Random Randy is on fire tonight. On fire. Here we go. Let's hit the 8 and 9. There's a 10. All right. That's going to be the hard 10 this time. That's going to pay us $27. 27 just like this. Uh, and here we go. So we'll go ahead and take that to a $25 bet. That's going to cost a dollar VIG. And it's going to put all this back. And this video is so long right now. But you know what, though? I'm excited because we hit the ATS. How about that? That's a 415. Guys, this table has turned hot. Everybody is screaming around the table. That's a 70, that's a $50 bet. Pays you 70. Um, what am I going to do? Let's just go up $25. Let's put the rest of that back into the rack, just like that. Look at here. Look at here. And you remember how low we were a while ago? How about that? Good gracious. All right, there's that five again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a $75 bet. That's going to pay us 105. Guys, it pays us 105. You know you got to go to a hundred dollar bet here, right? That goes to a hundred. This comes back to the rack, and I'm running out of room. I am running out of room. And here we go. Let's keep it going. There's a box of cars 12. We've already got that one, guys. Already got that. Look at this monster roll. There's the hard 10 again. We've already hit that, but we got it again. I have I've got to restack my reds. I've got to restack my greens here. All right, that's gonna pay me 50. Uh, 50 bucks. What I'm going to do is it, it'll cost you a dollar here to do that. We're going to go to 50 and we're going to put the quarter back into the rack just like that. Okay. And here we go. There is the eight. That is the point. We've hit the point, guys. That is great. Here we go. So it's going to pay us, uh, oops, when turn over the eight. Look at here. We're only missing the nine for the tall again. All right. Let's pay us even odds for there. And we're going to go green, red, and white. So you're going to go a green, a red. It'll cost you, charge you a white there. All right. And that's all this is coming back to the rack. Let's turn the puck off. And uh, I'm already, I need another, I need another rack, guys. I need another rack. I got to clear off a rack because I did not expect all this. I'm just going to put this, I guess, right here on the corner. I got to move my boat now to, uh, to make room, right? Let's put that here. Let's put that here. And let's make room for some more money. How about this? I haven't even counted it all up yet. So I have no clue where I'm at. I'm still rolling on the same shooter. All right, here we go. And if you can ever think of a time, the perfect time to hit a seven, you are going to reset the ATS, okay? But my gosh, if you're on a monster roll, this is one, one reason why you do not work to come out. You do not work to come out because of this right here, guys. All right, here we go. So we're going to reset everything here. We've still got a shooter going on. We still got money going on here. And uh, let's go ahead and turn this upside down. And boom, there we go. All right, so that's reset. Um, I'm going to win this bet. 
well, let's do this here. It's going to really only pay me $5. I got to grab more reds. It's only going to pay me $5. Because remember, that's I got $10 here. Um, I got 15 there. It's only a net of five. I'm going to put that back onto the rack just like that. And here we go. All right, it's going to be on the eight again. That's going to be the five, three, eight. Let's mark the eight. And let's go back out there for our odds. Let's not forget our odds. Last time I got to put some back there. We put 30 back in odds. And uh, let's keep rolling this thing. Here we go. Put that there. All right, let's go, shooter. And there's your seven. How about that? There is your four, three, seven. You know what? Monster. A monster roll. Let's move these over to the side. I'm going to pull all these bets. Look at all this money we had out here off this random, a random Randy shooter. I mean, what a shooter we had. All right, let's go and pull this back. Let's go and count it up to see how much we made. And you know what? I don't think if it wasn't for the ATS now, I don't think we would have recouped back everything. But that last roll really, really helped, right? Let's go and turn the puck off here. Let's move these dice out of the way. And let's count this up. We started with $1,000. Here we go. We got one, three, four, five. Look here. We got almost $1,000 just on blacks. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's a, that's a black chip. I'm part of it there. All right, so we have $1,000. That's our initial bankroll. Everything here is profit, okay? Everything here is profit. Let's see how much we ended up getting here. One, two, three. That's 400. This is a hundred dollars here. It's going to make it. We're going to do it greens. That's five hundred. This is a hundred dollars here. That's six hundred. Look at here, guys. Oh my goodness. Six twenty-five. Six thirty. Six thirty-five. Six hundred and thirty-eight dollars, guys. You could have not asked for a better scenario. That's over fifty percent that you just made here on that monster roll. I love it. I do love the system. I like the regression you built into it, but I don't think it would have been as good if you had not hit the ATS. But it worked out really well. We had a hot shooter and it came back. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you, for Michael, for submitting it. If you do enjoy this, if you want to submit your own strategy, please go ahead and send it to my email or just message me however you want to. Uh, if you want to submit your strategy and roll out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like comment down below. Until next time, mark the point and stay awesome.